Arthur. So, we found the O'Driscoll's hideout, but no sign of Combe. Well, so long as we're hitting them before they hit us. Oh, and that Karen? He's all right now. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. All right, Arthur. Morning to you. Come on. Give me that again. Hello. Is that better? Don't get your back up. I'm only kidding. Ah, ah, you're quite the entertainer. <laughs> well, don't let me bother you. <laughs> Yippers. Arthur. How's it riding? Not very good. I hear the most wonderful words in my head, and then I ride absolute poppycock. <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> yeah, me too. My journal. I was reading something the other day. <laughs> I write like a fool. <laughs> One day I'd love a beautiful fountain pen and a great desk in a quiet room and to write the most beautiful stories well i can't do much about the stories or the quiet room but maybe i'll find you a pen <laughs> thank you <sighs> doing a good You could help, you know. I'm much more suited to a supervisory role. I'm watching you do that, and can I give you some constructive criticism? No, you certainly can't. Keep doing it wrong, man. When is the cowbell gonna ring? Hi, Karen. Hey there. Working hard there? I guess. Well, it won't disturb you. Okay, then. Morning, Arthur. Hey, so that feller who was hassling you in Valentine. I'll tell you another time, okay? Okay, sure. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Yes, see you later. One of these days, we'll actually get the men to help with the laundry. <laughs> I wouldn't hold your breath. Hey. Good day, dear. What you up to? Nothing much. Well, there's plenty of work to do around here. Sure, Morgan. Good here. 
All fine. Good. Stay alert. glad to be out of that cold, Mr. Morgan. Me too. Oh, I am getting too old for this gallivant. <laughs> Me too. <sighs> hey, Arthur. I know, dear. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Don't worry about it, Reverend. I made a fool of myself again. We've all done that, Reverend. I'm bitterly ashamed. Really, I am. I know, dear. Stay calm. Morning, Mr. Jack Morgan. Needs you calm. Glad to be off that mountain, Mr. Pearson. Yes, indeed. Lots to do now. Yeah, for all of us. Well, I suppose I should be getting on. Okay. It's gonna be all right. You really think so? Things will turn around. They always do. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Hey, Charles. How are you holding up? Not very well. well. I'm sorry. It will get better eventually. Okay, speak later. All right, Arthur. Thank you, Mr. Morgan, for sparing me like that. I'll work hard. I am not a bad fella. You'll soon warm to me. Just see that I do. Oh, you will. Hmm? Thank you for saving my life. Well, yeah, of course. Life is very good, sir. Very good indeed. Good for you. How are you, Jack? Wish I here you were sick? A little bit, but Uncle Hosea gave me some medicine. Okay, good. All right, well, I should be getting on. Uh-huh.
Hello, Mr. Morgan. Starting to look like home. It's taking shape. Good work, Miss Grimshaw. You ain't giving up on us, are you? Oh, hey, Arthur. <laughs> Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Reverend, I just want to thank you for saving my life. The liquor is not my friend, Mr. Morgan. It really isn't. I make such a fool of myself. Don't worry about it. You're a fine man. Now, lying on the other hand, it really is a sin. An enchanted forest, this place is it. No. I wonder why they called it Valentine. Thomas Reverse. It seems polar opposite of a man. Well, I don't know. Some lady I was speaking to in town told me about a curse. A curse? Now, nothing's more romantic than a curse. Exactly. Prince turned into a toad, lovers into stone, entire country turned into morons. Curses everywhere. What's Valentine's curse? Well, I didn't...